Hi, Sagis. It's today reading for the sign of Sagittarius. Um, however, you're resonating in with Sagittarius, whether you have Sagittarius in a sun sign, mooning, moon sign, mooning sign. <laughs> Good grief. This is going to be an interesting one. Uh, moon sign, um, rising sign, or Venus sign. Sagittarius, I would start over because my introduction was a, was a series of fumbles, but um, I'm in the energy now, so let's go ahead and get started. All right, let's go ahead and look at um, what is the energy that is around you? What is the energy that is within you? What is the energy that's within um, Sagittarius or directly? Um, yeah, this is your energy that I have here, just three energies. You'll be able to come out. And let's look at the situation that is around you now, Sagittarius. The situation that is around you at this time. The situation that is around you. The situation that is around you at this time. All right, let's get right into the Sagittarius. Easy. The cards came out really easily. Um, I think we, that we do have several in the reverse. All right, this is your energy. Um, we have the devil next to the ace of ace of swords next to the knight of cups. Well, heck, Sagittarius, what is this? Could be a Capricorn here. Could be a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio energy here. What's interesting about this is we have the devil energy, but it doesn't feel all that... Um, dense of an energy. It's not a super dense energy. It could be a Capricorn. There could be a, um, there could be a very hard working energy here. There could be a lot of intensity, but it's not an intensity that's out of control. It's still in moderation. It's still in a healthy place. Could be chemistry. It could be intensity in chemistry. Tell us more about the devil energy. This is so interesting. Tell us more about the devil energy. Moon. Could be Pisces here. The Fool. Queen of Pentacles. Could be a Capricorn. Because the Queen of Pentacles is Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus. Doesn't have to be one of those signs, but takes on the characteristics of Capricorn or Taurus or Virgo. Um, there is something new that's happening here. And it's something that has come from out of out of something that, that there. Um, okay, this moon energy is interesting. When I get into this moon energy, it could have been this situation could have been around you for some time, Sagittarius. But and you could have been feeling it. You could have been feeling like something was out there. Something was happening. There could have been a situation where you were trying to get your fingers on it. You were trying to gauge the temperature of it, but that's it, 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 there was an unknown. But now there's something that's coming forward. That's something new. It's it's something new that you're experiencing. Something new that you're experiencing here. It could be something new in business. And, and we have the queen. We have so many interesting energies here. This will what the devil could really resonate a whole bunch of energies kind of coming together, coming together and swirling around together. It's intense, but it's not dark. It's intense, but it's not unhealthy. It's rather exciting, Sagittarius. It has an energy of a mystery around it. There's a mystery here. Let's go into the Queen of Pentacles. High Priestess. This could be a secret. <laughs> Sagittarius. <laughs> Sagittarius, this could be a secret. Oh, there's something so interesting when I'm in this energy. It's such an interesting energy. It's such a mystery. It's it, But it's something new with the Fool. <laughs> Um, it's something that's being quiet. You know something deep within yourself. There's a there's a secret here. There's a mystery here. It's something you haven't really experienced in a long time or something you've never really experienced before. Um, this could have to do with a business that you're starting to. It could be a new relationship that's starting. 
It could have to do with money in some ways or resources or stability. This could be something that you've been working on for a long time and somehow like this mysteriously has gotten started. And all of a sudden you're like on a, some kind of a new journey that you've been led down. And it's like, um, it's like, so it, it's, it, uh, it's, it's such, it, it, it's warm, fuzzy, but it's almost like, you know, when you're so happy about something, it's a very childish happy, like you've just been given some kind of surprise and you're in bed and you're all cuddled up and you're like, um, wiggling your toes and like straining your ankles and wiggling your toes and rolling over, rolling over and going back and forth and rolling over with just, um, a, a, a kind of delight, a kind of joy that only you are experiencing Sagittarius, only you, like no one else in the whole world knows, or, 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 or maybe there's another person that knows if this is another relationship, but there's something here. Sagittarius that only you really knows the the beauty of this only you really knows how special this is and I can't even really talk very well because it's like the energy is all around you and within you and it's just curling up around side of you this is a toe curling kind of bliss um I'm sitting here like scratching my forehead with both hands like with, with both hands I don't know how I scratch with my hands, with my fingers. I, I'm really scratching with my fingers is what I'm scratching with, because with my hands, that would be weird. That's the kind of energy this this is. It's a very childlike, passionate, gleeful, blissful, excited kind of energy. I have never felt the devil explained like this before. I have never felt it explained like this before. Those of you that are resonating with this Sagittarius know exactly what I'm talking about. Let's go into the Fool just a little bit more here. Fool energy. Four of Pentacles. Nine of Cups. There's something real here for you. Something real. Look at this card. Look at this energy. This is the Four of Pentacles now. Look what's here. Look what this is. This is something that has come towards you in such a beautiful, mysterious, unknown way. This is a gift from your spiritual team, from your religion, from your source of, of, of guidance that brings you strength and brings you inspiration and connects you to some kind of bigger, more powerful energy in the universe. This is something that's bringing in some sort of stability for you. And this is the Nine of Cups. This is a wish coming true. This is a desire that is manifesting into your reality. And you have it now in the palm of your hand. It might be small. It might be small. It might be just something small at this point because we have the Four of Pentacles here. But even these two people in this image, look at, look, I mean, I know it's blurry and I know that might be annoying to some people, but other people gain from these images. Why is it, why is it the devil energy? Is there a Capricorn here with you? Is there a need for stability? Has there been hard work? Has there been this energy of putting one foot after the other and overcoming fear and overcoming addictions? Is there been some sort of freedom being gained? Because here you have the Ace of Swords. You have victory. 
You have clarity. You have epiphany. Even look at this energy that's here. I mean, it's a sweeping. It's a sweeping kind of success energy, almost like a shooting star. Almost like a shooting star. And then you have a Knight of Cups. Moving forward in love. There could be an offer of love here. There could be new compassion and kindness within the self. There could be something here for you, Capricorn, that you are just in love with and inspired by. Doesn't have to be a romantic situation. Love is pervasive throughout all of humanity and all kinds of situations. But this fills the heart. This brings tears to the eyes. Right? This brings a, a, an energy of warmth and compassion and feeling like whatever's going on for you, Sagittarius, is bigger than anything you've ever experienced or that you haven't experienced this for a long time. So you're going through this energy of... It's a significant, it's something that can't be, really can't really be expressed. It's hard to express this kind of joy, intensity, and love. It's something that has more to it than is humanly possible. It has a touch of surreal. It has a touch of universal connection universal fine tuning something like that let's look at what's going on around you let's go look at what this environment is for you and even in the way these energies shuffled out wasn't that unusual they just came right out it didn't even have to shuffle very long for, for those of you that have been watching me for a while, I sometimes I shuffle for quite a long time. I hear about that in the comments. <laughs> you know, so... <sighs> the, the cards just came out so, so easily. And now I'm, I'm all confused. I'm all in a dither. I need to see what cards are supposed to be in the upright and what are supposed to be in the reverse because I think I might have turned these cards over when I was flipping. So let me see if the cards should be in the upright or reverse. It does make a difference. Reverse. Reverse. Upright. 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 Okay. All right. Sorry. Now I got them all. All right, so we have the Two of Pentacles in reverse, the Eight of Cups in reverse, the Six of Pentacles in the upright, the Knight of Wands in the upright, and the Strength Energy in the upright. Somehow this need to continue to shuffle, to continue to push through and find time for this and find time for that and organize your day in such a, with such a, a, um, a structure, um, this continual, um, organize, organization of time and prioritize, prioritization it's falling away from you and whatever you have been working so hard to accomplish that you have been so emotionally connected to
that depth of emotion, that focus that you have had is kind of just falling away. It's sinking. See, there's an energy of this just sinking to the bottom of the ocean, right? It's, it's like what you were trying to keep afloat is just sinking now. So something is being surrendered. Something is being kindly taken out of your hands. Let me take that from you, ma'am. Let me kindly take that from you, sir. There's no more need for you to hold that in your hands. It's getting quite heavy, isn't it? It's getting quite heavy. There's no more need for that. Let me kindly just take that away from you. That's the energy that I feel here, Sagittarius. And look what's next, the Six of Pentacles. Look how light these hands are now. This is some sort of improvement in how you experience the world around you. Something is becoming much more fair for you. We're talking about balance here. And next to the Six of Pentacles is the Knight of Wands. Passion. Excitement. Fire. So whatever you've been doing here that you have been having to force yourself to step forward and step forward and do this and do that and do this and do that and juggle many different things at a time, which can be difficult to do and forces you to really stay um, in a very practical place. So you could have really felt like there was no excitement in your life. There was no... There was, there was no, nothing exciting happening. It was just all just doldrum. It was just, it, it, there was just nothing there. It, it, you were, you were in like a transitory time. Like you were just going down a hallway. You weren't in any room. You were just in a hallway and the hallway was damn boring. But for some reason, like you had to be there and you had to work really hard to be there. It's falling away now. And in its place is some kind of a solution, some sort of a experience that's here for you that is not only bringing a sense of fairness, a sense of equality into your life, but this passion, this excitement, this exuberance for life, this spontaneity, this get up and go kind of energy is back. It's coming back into your life. It may be difficult to contain this energy. I feel like this is going to be a long-term situation and you could be exiting out of something and entering into something new that you could have a, like a uber enthusiasm for. So it, it's going to be necessary to maintain a, some balance here. We do see balance with the Six of Pentacles, but it's going to be necessary to maintain some balance and um, and and really maintain the spontaneous type of, of of movement forward that we see here that you're so excited about and you feel so passionate for, because I think this is going to go on for a while. So if because with the Knight of Wands, sometimes um, the Knight of Wands energy can use a lot of gas. It's like having a big, huge SUV or a very powerful engine in your car um, that uses a lot of fuel. And you you have to be careful when you're in the Knight of Wands to, that, so that you don't run out of fuel before the journey, before the, the before, um, before the race has been won, before you get to that ribbon. So that's why the strength energy is here. So I think what, what's happening here is there's some kind of situation just springing forward into your experience. And you could be um, really going 
um, strongly into this and it, it may require you to, it, it might be something that is going to be intense for, for some period of time. And because of that, it's going to be necessary to really nurture this and be careful with this situation. So let's go deeper into these energies now, Sagittarius. This is so interesting. I'm going to start with this Knight of Wands. I think there's there's something, there's a lot of energy in this Knight of Wands. So let's dig in here and see what we can pull forward. We have the Five of Swords. So you had to break yourself into this. There was some sort of initiation, some sort of um, some sort of communication or decision that had to be made. And that decision, that communication could have created some kind of conflict around you. Usually when we're exiting out of a situation like this, it does bring with it some sort of a conflict. People really don't like to see other people walk away from something that they put a lot of time and effort into because what happens when you put a lot of time and effort into something, other people reap the rewards. So there was a situation here that you were moving forward in and nothing was really changing and you were working really hard and it was taking a lot of time and, and you were doing this day in and day out. Someone was reaping the reward from that. When I see the five of, the five of, um, the five of swords here, it tells me that somebody was reaping that reward. And when you went to exit out of that situation, there was some sort of a, a conflict, a conflict um, that could have even confused you. But I see that that is coming to an end. There is going to be a discontinuation of, of communication. At some point, Sagittarius, there needs to be a stoppage of the communication. Because at some point, the communication no longer helps. It's no longer helpful. And as soon as you're done getting your message across, you will know. At some point, other people might continue to want to engage with you. And you might have to say, this is how it is. I have made up my mind. Um, I, I'm sorry that you're going through this, but this is a decision that I'm making for myself, for my own better, betterment. And I am um, resolute in this. Thank you for sharing your concerns, and I wish you well in your journey ahead. And that could be the end of the conversation, because there is an ending to this conversation that I see. So whatever this conflict is that's been sort of confusing, it might have left you with feelings of unease and guilt and um, confusion with, within your own system of, of clarity. Uh, it does look like that that is going to be short-lived and and there is going to be discon discontinuation of the conversation. Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands. World ending and a new beginning. Something more expansive. Allowing yourself to step into something bigger. Allowing something to come to an end. Realizing whenever there's an ending, there's always a new beginning. Something expansive is here. Knight of Pentacles. This has real indications of something very tangible and very stable and something that can bring in increased security. We do have the Knight of Pentacles over the top of the Six of Pentacles. So this could take a little bit of time in getting going. Right now, it could be way much more of an idea or of something new that you're doing something that's going to require some effort, some action, before you really are going to see um, some, some st stabilization of income. But the fact that the Six of Pentacles is here is a really good sign. So we'll go into the Six of Pentacles next and see what that means. Maybe this is a job that you're starting with a, with a starting bonus, you know, or something that, that comes in for you that gives you the opportunity to start something new or to, to move forward in, in a new, empowered, and, ex, and, and enthusiastic, optimistic way into the future. There could even be a new relationship here that you're entering into that's much more fair than the one before, that feels much more right for you. It feels healthier for you. 
or a new job or a new business or um, just a new way of being. You could be getting better um, from, from, you know, you could be overcoming some health condition or something and feeling much stronger. And you might have found a new healing style or a new method of recovery. And you, you know, letting go of the old perhaps could really affect you in all different ways here. Depending on your story. Two of Wands. So there is a decision, an action decision to be made here. This is a change in how you've been moving forward. This is like a life path change. Uh, um, they, there could be an intersection here where you could decide, okay, which way am I going to go? Let's go deeper into this two of, two of Wands. And I, and I also want to go deeper into this Knight of Pentacles. So let's go deeper into the Knight of Pentacles, into the Knight of Pentacles. Queen of Wands. I think you know you have a natural ability for this or you have a natural ease in this situation. It feels very natural. And it also helps you feel so beautiful and, and so empowered when you're in this situation or when you are setting forth in this journey. You know that you have these natural abilities that could really be successful in whatever this is for you. You know in your intuition that this is something that could be um, so powerful for you to experience. You're also very charming. You do feel your own empowerment. And when you feel your own empowerment, it does draw people to you. So you could be um, quite attractive during this period of time. Queen of Pentacles again. This, this has something to do with hard work. It has something to do with stability. It has something to do with the details of your reality, money, budgeting, um, working with projects, um, working hard and being responsible and being reliable, um, but also taking care to, to keep yourself healthy and um, bring elements of life into your existence that are comfortable, that create ease in life. For, for the Queen of Pentacles. But the Queen of Pentacles is usually into the numbers, into the details of finances, into the details of a schedule or um, of a calendaring system or of a um, of managing a group of people and, and being very detail oriented in that. She also could be like a proofreader or, or look at uh, making sure that there are no mistakes in anything. So she could be like a um, a, a compliance officer or a comptroller or something like that, an accountant, a bookkeeper, that kind of an energy. So there could be something that is getting set to go into motion here. Right now you're taking action. You're doing something new and moving into it very quickly and very with a lot of enthusiasm Um but ultimately, this is something that is really um, intending to be very valuable, very stable, very income producing, or, or if this is a relationship, this is, you are intending for this relationship to be a long-term relationship that is, is not playing around. So even though you're in the Knight of Wands and even though it's happening quickly, uh, you have, you are very serious about this. This is not an in and out for you. This is not an in and out for you. King of Cups. So there could be a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces here as well. This is going to bring health and vitality and nourishment to your environment that's around you. Could be a counterpart energy here. The feminine energy is passionate and detail driven. And the masculine energy is generous, loving, healing, 
expressive, heart-centered. So we have passion, we have groundedness, and then we have emotion with the masculine. Let's look at this two of wands before we move on. Two of wands energy. Knight of Pentacles. Ten of Cups. So we have the Knight of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups. Three of Pentacles in the reverse. Six of Swords. I think this is a change for Sagittarius. It's something that's going to bring long-term stability. There is a lot of happiness here and emotional fulfillment here. The Three of Pentacles is here, but it's in reverse. So um, I don't think it looks like this is just in the beginning. This is just getting started. It hasn't really been formalized yet in any kind of a way. It looks like this is about, this is creating the strategy, creating the plan, forming a belief system around this, um, forming a thought or a mindset around this, and then moving forward. with a peace and a calmness. It looks like in this energy with the six of, oh, is this a nine of swords? It's a nine of swords. I don't care. That's what I felt when I looked in this energy. It's almost, okay, I get what they're saying. So it's almost like this, it's like you've gone from being worried and not really knowing what to do to all of a sudden sitting up in bed and saying, I know what it is. I know what it is. This is it. I know what it is. So there is some sort of epiphany here. There is some sort, there is something that's going to come to you um, in a surprising way that's going to bring an answer for you, an epiphany. Because that's what I was shown. I was... I was shown this person laying in bed and then all of a sudden sitting up and, and thinking, that's what it is. That's the answer. That's what, that's what, the, sometimes when I do this, I get like little movies in my head, very short little clips, almost like, um, what do you call them? GIFs? Or I don't know how you say that word. I'm too old. <laughs> but that's what I sometimes are, am shown and I, I was shown that. So that element is going to be there for you. Three of Wands, optimism and excitement, exuberance. So you might be worried at, at in the beginning, but there is going to be an answer that's going to come to you, a solution that's going to come to you. Remember, the Ten of Cups is here. This is emotional fulfillment. This is togetherness. This is happiness. This is joy. This is enjoying life. So even while maybe this money is not yet falling into your lap or the situation hasn't totally formalized. I do feel like you're enjoying this. You're enjoying this experience, even though you're still in the very beginning of it. Even though you're still in the very beginning of it, you are enjoying it. Let's look at the six of pentacles before we end, before we go into the extended. Six of Pentacles energy. Eight of Wands. Wow, love it. Star. Four of Wands. Beautiful. Whatever this balance is, it's for, for the work that you're doing, there's something of equal value that you're getting in return. So if this is a love relationship, as much as you're loving, as much as you're excited about this, as much as the work that you're putting into this, um, creating this, you're getting the same back. So there's reciprocation here. 
as much work as you're doing, if this is a business or a job, as much work as you're doing, you're getting payment in return. It feels fair. It's equal. It's something that you can find value in and justice in for yourself. And with this energy, there is a lot of communication here. There's a lot of action. There could be a lot of going back and forth here with the Eight of Wands, knowing that most of us are stuck at home right now, but uh, the Tool of Tarot doesn't care. They're saying that there is a lot of going back and forth, a lot of communication, a lot of energy, leaving your, your aura and moving into someone else's aura and back and forth, whether it's travel, whether it's telephone, whether it's text messaging, there is information going back and forth, could even be reports going back and forth, information going back and forth, signatures going back and forth, work agreements going back and forth. Something is going back and forth and there's communication. The star energy is here. So this is like something that feels like it's destiny. It's something that has been earned through um, transformation, through journeying, um, through healing and rising up into your truth. It, it is an Aquarius type energy. So you're thinking really out of the box now. You're thinking from your own perspective, right? You're, you're thinking and receiving guidance from your own team, from your own internal self. This is your own creation. This is, this is allowing you to act and to live and to think in your own special way, Sagittarius, with the star energy. And then we have the four of wands. This is stability. This is a shelter that wraps around you in some kind of way that helps you to feel comfortable and to feel confident in the life that is around you, in the actions that you take. So if this is a relationship, there's something formalizing around it that helps you feel comfortable about the relationship, that helps you feel safe in the relationship. If this is a job or an occupation, this does the same thing. It helps you feel safe inside of it so that you can take action in your own special way and there will be rewards, right? You feel safe and secure in that. Really very beautiful, Sagittarius. Wow. So a huge change for you here, a huge shift for you in the, in the, in the event or the situation or the, or the general happening that is going on around you. I am going to move to the extended now, Sagittarius, and we're going to look out at the situation, how it moves out into the middle of May. We're going to take this out a month or a month and a half, maybe to the end of May. And we will dig deeper into those energies as well and go down into those energies and see how this plays out for you. Because it is a very strong energy, Sagittarius, and you are moving in your natural way. So you do feel comfortable in this energy. It is interesting that the strength energy is here. So I, I am quite interested in in, and I think I'm going to keep some of these energies. I'm going to keep the Four of Wands and the Eight of Wands to see what we can find there. Um, and then we'll pull out, we'll use another deck and pull out some more, some more cards. Uh, maybe I won't even, actually, maybe I won't use, I'll, I, maybe I'll just continue to use this deck. Anyway, so I am going to move to the extended now. I'm going to take this out. We're going to dig deeper. We're going to see what, what happens. And this should help you if you're really resonating with this. If you're feeling like this is your story, Sagittarius, um, it could help you plan and strategize for the future um, in, in your own way, realizing that the extendeds are still general readings, but they can kind of help you move through your own situations help you think through them just a little bit better. All right, my friends, um, what an interesting story that we have here for Sagittarius. Um, I, I wish you well. Um, stay healthy um, and stay strong, my friends. And I will see you back out on YouTube in another week or so with another update for the for the sign of Sagittarius. All right. Thank you so much.